These teams meeting for the first time since 2010, just the third time in the school's histories, and we are underway. Straight on jumper, a little bit too strong for Hermosa. And here comes Westbrook. The fling down the floor. Williams able to finish. And Carolyn, I think that's going to be an absolute key for both of these teams is the pace. Shea Ralph and Amy Grant all together at once. But he also said, and nobody going to be feeling sorry for <laughs> Gino Ariel. No, they are not. Leap Love is going to be important for Georgia Tech because she's a player who can really create off the dribble, create her own shot. A steal here. Lots it in, lays it in in transition. Turnovers. Seen that from Connecticut teams, but this is a team that can be loose with the basketball. And Georgia Tech can build confidence off getting those transition buckets. Williams gets free and is able to lay it in. Patience here from Georgia Tech. These are two slow-paced teams regardless as Hermosa able to dip that in. Georgia Tech loves to go into the high-low game. And Juhas is going to get a little coaching from Gina Oriana as Westbrook hits the three. A welcome sign. She had been one for eight from downtown her last two games. In that same conversation, he was talking about how important Olivia Nelson Adota is to his team. And expecting and hoping for her to, to fill some of that void. They're sixth in the nation in defensive efficiency, fifth in defensive rebounding percentage. Not an easy team to score against. A leaning three is good. Lottenen connects. The turnover bug bites them. Three turnovers in the first for UConn. Straubmane off the window beautifully for two. Georgia Tech does that really well. A 13-7 first quarter lead. Here's Williams. Off one leg. Gets it to wedge in off back iron. She is, she is tough, and she will battle this and has tons of support behind her here at Georgia Tech and then across the country. Crowd scored 16 to three in that quarter. South Carolina coming up with that win. It's Nelson Adota got the lane, shouldered in and finished. You'd think he'd say someone on the perimeter. That ball is looking. He mentioned Nelson Adota. Goes to work inside. It opens up things for the guards. They averaged a career high 13 points last season. Westbrook, little pick and roll with Nelson Adota, who finishes again for Straub Money. And here comes Yukon. First lead since it was 7 6. What a take! Williams, the shake, and the bucket. You better get ready for the Hezzy. There she goes. Lottenen, over to Stroudmane, and she hits the baseline jumper. Yeah, Georgia Tech took advantage of the hard head. Lottenen dumps it in, into the corner, a three, is good! UConn next team plays St. Bonaventure at four on ESPN2. Westbrook, nice crossover, and banks it in. You know, Ariama raved about her skill level to us earlier today at shoot-around. Off the steal, dump inside, and there you see the skill level of Amari Zaber. Williams carving through the D and spinning it in. Ten points from Kristen Williams in his first half. Finding the seams, number 13, Kristen Williams. Rodden in, hits the jumper. And Evina Westbrook said that Gino has really focused on slow down. You got to take time to set up a set up a screen, set up coming off that screen. Well, there's Sarah Bates, a welcome sight. Has not sat yet in this first half. May not sit all game. Nelson Adota got to step inside and took advantage. Eight to shoot. Martin into the corner. Nice little separation. In. Hit from Sarah Bates, finding that rhythm from three. Since UConn lost to an unranked opponent, 240 straight wins against an unranked opponent. And Georgia Tech's last home win against a top five opponent, 2009. Lily Love wasn't happy about not getting the ball in transition. Martinin will fire, and hit from three. 
Works the same as an on-ball screen. And here Kubai gets it. You go under the screen and Lawton and says, I'm... Mel Fortner just raves about Kubai's motor. Five to shoot in the corner. Kubai carries the jumper and is fired up afterward. Lawton in. Kubai into Hermosa. Banks it in. Nelson Adota hits the jumper. When was the last time that happened, Ryan? Yeah, 1987-88. That's the last time UConn had just two players averaging in double figures as Deepna Strabmane with an outstanding move. Kubai that can handle things, guard the post. Nelson Adota will take again and hit again on the long two. Question of Dina Westbrook. Question because of Connecticut. Who's going to rebound? Because Olivia Nelson Dota had been really good on the board. Wow, Ducharme was just left alone. Both Georgia Tech. This is a team that shoots 50% as a team normally. Second in the country. As Hermosa gets free, more high low action with Kubai finding her. Double comes. Player was open, it was love. Instead, Kubai finds Hermosa for two. Beautiful. Gets it back from Bates. Shot clock at five. Dubai will fire and hit. Doing it with a jumper now. Lorella Kubai dumps it in. Kubai, another fading shot clock. That time, no. Stramani follows it up and banks it in. It's a seven point game. Here's Love kicking it out. Dubai bounces Hermosa and hits again. That combination has been funny. Running an offense off screens. Need to just run a drag screen or a stagger and look for opportunities. There is the first field goal of the fourth quarter, the third. UConn has not scored under 45 points since February of 2006. Breaking free is low for an easy two. Off the inbound. Beautiful play. Well, and it was a great prediction of Nell understanding the full court pressure was going to be up there and sending somebody long. Westbrook hits the jumper. And that will do it. Georgia Tech ends a streak of 240 straight wins for UConn against unranked opponents.